Huh. You need a bath. You smell like your bum. Normally I'd start off the video with uh, me making breakfast, but I ate cold pizza, so I'm good. I'm real good. Yep. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to clean out one of my beakers and we're going to make some chai tea fucking extract for tea. Or for vape. Just checking to see if chai tea has caffeine in it. Doesn't say caffeine free anywhere, so I'm pretty sure it's got caffeine. Nice. Oreo's taking another crap. I've never seen a dog shit so much in my fucking life. Holy crap. You let him outside at any given point in time. He's sitting there squatting, dropping a fucking... Putting me to shame shit, you know? Like he's crapping so hard that it makes me go, hmm. How come I don't crap that much? I don't know. One thing I do know is I gotta call the uh, the pet store today and see about getting him groomed because he's getting too fluffy and turds are starting to stick to his bumper. So that's gotta get fixed. Anyway, I gotta wash my glassware and then we're gonna head upstairs and make some e-juice. So the recipe I found online called for five tea bags, which are in there submerged in propylene glycol because it's a better solvent than vegetable glycerin and once my rice cooker here gets up the heat we're going to basically heat steep it and that should basically make kind of like a really 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 concentrated strong tea now keep in mind what i'm making here you don't just pour this into a bottle and start vaping it because it's going to be super fucking concentrated you're going to have to dim her down with some vegetable glycerin propylene glycol and if you want to add nicotine to it to make it a caffeinated nicotine hit, well, that's something else you can do too. So I'm going to do this one. And I thought I had some green tea downstairs. I got some pomegranate green tea. Um, I'm going to bring the chai tea back downstairs. I've been wanting to do the chai tea one since I came back from Blokes uh, because I just really liked the taste of chai tea when I had it in a Keurig. And when I heard one of the guys mentioning that they did that to look it up on the internet and I finally got around to looking it up on the internet and realized holy fuck there's a lot you can do with this shit. You know, if you want peppermint flavored and you don't want to go and buy peppermint flavored, you can just buy peppermint flavored tea bags and drive them in. But I thought I had some tea that was pomegranate green tea. Yes I do. Yes I freaking do. Oh shit. I need to get around to one day organizing my pantry a little bit better. But I got uh, this stuff here, pomegranate green tea. So we'll grab some bags out of this and we'll do up a, a container of pomegranate green tea and it should be pretty freaking awesome. Nice. All right, let's head back upstairs and we'll bang out a cylinder of pomegranate green tea extract, which I know doesn't sound too awesome. But uh, a lot of people online say it's fucking delicious, so if I can make a flavoring, an extract, that is pretty much on par with uh, what people online are using, then I'll be happy. Anyway, so I'll leave that shit sit back there now for a couple hours and just let it steep in the rice cooker. And yeah, I don't know what to do with myself today. It's actually really warm, well, not really warm out, but compared to what it's been for the past couple days, it's only minus seven out, so that's pretty good. Yep. Also, I still have the UV filter on here. I wanted to go through the filters and show you basically the differences between them. Came with this cute little carrying pouch. That's a bitch to open. There we go. And inside here, it uh, has a sleeve for each one of the filters. I got the UV one on right now. The CPL filter is kind of neat because you can turn it. And it changes the way the light enters the lens, which really gets kind of fucky after a while. Um, and what's really weird is you can actually have all three lenses attached at the same time to this camera, which gives you a stupid effect. Like a real stupid effect. Alrighty, well let's check on our brew and see how this is coming along. That looks pretty fucking good. Smells even better. And check the green, or yeah, the green tea. That's looking friggin' awesome. Oh, that smells really good. Add some sweetener to that. We'll be set. I'm just going to leave it sit there though. Let it fester longer. The longer you fester it, the more it's going to dissolve. 
Um, I'm thinking about doing a live stream right now. I was supposed to do one last night, but I fucking ended up crashing out early. So that's never good, right? Well, it's good, but um, that's what happens when you uh, go to bed early, wake up early, and get shit did. But then when you want to play video games with your friends, and your friends want to play video games after 10, 11, you're already in bed, you end up not playing video games with your friends. So I'm going to make myself a coffee right now and get ready for that. Also, uh, Oreo's got himself a... No, oh, you just said your name. You don't have to get pissed off about it. They already know who you are, bud. I booked him an appointment for tomorrow to get a haircut. So that's a good thing. He goes in at 9 o'clock to get himself a haircut. And then... Uh, I don't know what time he'll be done at. They'll call me. Then we'll go pick him up and he won't be such a fluff ball. Because right now he's so damn fluffy that uh, poop's sticking to the fur and I gotta go after him with paper towels and peel it off and shit. Okay. Come on. Come on, Oreo. God, I hate it when he's gotta bark at everybody. He's such a pain in the arse all the time. Football cat. Football cat, football cat, she looks like a football cat. Football cat, football cat, she looks so annoyed. Football cat, football cat. Alrighty, gonna get mixing my coffee and then uh, we'll freaking get her on the Euro American Truck Simulator. Sorry. Alrighty, people, well, we just got done playing some Euro Trucks or American Truck Simulator and it's time to check on this juice. And I think it's pretty much done. Oh, fuck yeah. Basically done. So I'm going to go ahead and get this here all fixed up. So when all said and done, I ended up with 110 mil of the green... Either green tea or the chai. Of the chai and 90 mil of the green tea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this. I'm going to bring it down to 45 mil and I'm going to put it in two... Um, that might be a little bit too much. I might have to do 30, 30, 30 mil. That might still be too much. We're going to do 45, and then we're going to bring it up to 120 mil of VG. We're going to blend it, and we're going to make it into e-juice. Frig it. We'll make it strong. Before blending, after blending. Still smells too strong, but should be all right. So I basically half and half the chai tea. So there it is before and after being blended. And smells great when you blend it. it. Smells like fart when you don't. And now we let it bake. And then hopefully I'll be able to try it out tonight. Right now what I need to do is make some food. Because I'm fucking hungry. So I'm thinking about going downstairs. Making some craft dinner for lunch. That'll be... Oh, that was a loud one. Jesus Murphy. Fucking almost blew a, bo a torque bearing. Even though that's not even a thing. I almost blew one. Oh, I'm so glad he's going for a haircut tomorrow. Fuck, I'm sick of looking at his furry ass. Definitely got low expectations for this shit. Especially when they got to write cheese sauce mix on the package of cheese sauce mix to remind you that it's cheese sauce mix. Because I totally thought it was carrot oil. I'm starting to realize this whole fucking vlog's about vaping. I'm sorry. It can also be about a fluffy puppy whoopie going after his fucking, I don't know what he's doing. I think he wants to fight me. Why are you, why are you fighting me, bud? Why are you doing this? Okay, stay, 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 stay. He's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. Rawr. Buddy. Rawr. You're nuts. He's got to be the hardest dog to do chase cam with because he just acknowledge your boundaries. He just got to get right in there. You see that? He fucking clawed the camera, little arsehole. I was looking for this the other day, which was yesterday when I was working on the TV.
All right, well, I just heard the microwave go off, so noise. Drain out some water. Make some craft dinner. I have the lowest of lowest expectations for this shit. Don't those look like beers? <laughs> these look like little loggers, and these look like some crazy. I don't know whether one's darker than the other, but whatever. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. I put too much in this one and not enough in that one. These are the two green teas. These are the two uh, chai teas. So, now what I do is I just sit there and wait for them. And then after, once they cool down, I'll bottle them. Then put them in the closet and let them steep for a bit. And it's big time. Just check the weather networks. I thought we were supposed to get snow today, but it doesn't seem we are. So, that's awesome. A little bit of snow we got last night is all we're getting. The uh, reason why I wanted to see about snow is uh, they're calling for snowstorms down south in southern Ontario. But what's really frigged is they're also calling for uh, this Friday for it to be 2 Celsius out and then Saturday to be 5 Celsius. Yeah, fucking hot weather. And then Sunday it's going back down to minus 7 which is what it is today. This has been probably one of the weakest winters we've ever had. We had one day of brutal weather. Last year we had two weeks of minus 35 to minus 45. This winter, one day. Go figure. You know, I'm really not liking what this lens cover is doing to the camera. Like you see here, it's like really rough and stuff. And I'll take this cover off and you can see this cloud effect spinning. When I take it off and it's a lot cleaner, go figure. Uh, I just cleaned everything up there so hopefully the video looks a little bit better. Come on, Arya. Come on. Fucking nose deep in his own piss. Fuck dogs are weird. I guess he wanted to make sure it was his and no enemies were trespassing on his piss pad. Also known as the entranceway to the house. I figure while I'm waiting for that juice to like defizzify itself before I can bottle it, I'd show you guys the other lenses I got. We'll get some decent light going in the room here. And yeah, so this is okay, I'll get the other lenses out and I'll show you. Okay, so right now you're looking through the eye of the UV lens. I'll go ahead and take that one off. Boom. So that's with the UV lens. Take that one off. And then there's this. This is the FLD lens. Like you see, it makes everything really purpley. I don't know. I don't know where I'd use a lens like that. But. That's a weird one. Doesn't look like a natural, like right there we're back to regular. And this lens, this is the, the CPL lens. This one's really weird. Let me uh, get this screwed on here. Like this one varies, like you see the monitor behind me, right? As I'm turning the lens, different shit happens. It's really weird the way it works. I, I don't understand it. I'm no photographer though, so... <laughs> you know? So that's the CPL lens, and... I don't understand it. Don't know exactly what its purpose is. It looks super dark. Like, I'm looking at the camera right now and everything's black. I can't tell where the lens is pointing. I can literally see myself in the actual lens cover, and as I turn it, it takes the glare off my face, so that's kind of cool. I'll probably have to look into that and see exactly what it's supposed to do, but in a way I kind of like the video out of it right now. It's pretty slick. Let's see what it does to the lights behind me. It modifies them and dims them or something. I don't know. Sure, somebody out there in YouTube land knows what CPL and FLD is all about. I'm sure you'll let me know too. It's like this CPL lens. When you twist it, 
it, it blocks the frequency of the monitor. That's really weird. I don't know. Kind of cool though. And then for some reason you can run it with all three lenses. Now you can probably see this little, as I'm moving the camera around, this little circle. This is the reason why I was worried about getting a wide angle lens because you would have that effect. And the only way I can think of getting rid of that is by zooming in a lot to get away from it, you know, but right now I have all three, the UV, the CPL, and the polarity lens, the uh, FLD lens attached. And as you can see, as I'm moving it around, you can see that circle thing form on the side, which is really weird. We'll just stick with the UV lens, even though it's getting some weird artifacting on it. Alrighty, well, I just fired up the car because I want to take a rip over to the grocery store and the beer store and get some some stuff for tonight because I'm thinking about getting a little record. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been hammered out of my fucking tree. It's been a while since I got intoxicated and I want to get drunk. Could she look any more comfier? Get that. You're so comfy. You're so cute. You look like a little purse cinnamon bun. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head out to the car, get that uh, all cleaned off of the snow, and then we're gonna hit the road and go to the bigger store and the grocery store. I think I'm picking up a steak for dinner tonight because uh, I haven't had that in a while. I'm trying to film with this CPL filter to see what it does. Um, They're saying that the CPL filter is nice for blocking out some lights and letting some lights in and. It's good for any time of day to increase the contrast of the video. I, I did some research. The FLD is great for, like, in the garage if I had fluorescent lights still. Like, in the kitchen, the FLD would be great because I'm filming under a fluorescent light. So, apparently, it balances that out. The UV is perfect for, like, if I'm filming outside. And this polarity lens is good for high-contrast video shots. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, alrighty people, obviously they took a lot of time to plow these roads, Jesus Murphy. Bump your shit, but yeah, I got a text from my brother. He's like, what are you doing on March 12th? And I'm like, I don't know why, and I forgot I have wrestling that day at the school just down the road here. He goes, well, I got tickets. He goes, my buddy Dan runs this wrestling thing, and... It's going to be happening on March 12th, and I got you a ticket for your birthday. And I'm like, fuck. He's like, what? And I'm like, I already got a ticket. I uh, bought the VIP ticket. I'm like, shit. Wouldn't have bought the ticket if I would have known that. Like, we've been, uh oh, holy fuck. It's like Euro Truck Simulator all over again. People just fucking flying out of the left field. Sure enough, some arsehole in a Dodge. But, uh, yeah, fuck, nobody got to be careful in uh, North Bay in the winter when you're coming up to intersections because people will look right and then start going as they're looking left and they'll just be like fuck whatever I'm, I'm in a truck I can I won't take much damage if that guy slams into me they don't give a shit so you always got to approach an intersection looking for lights like the first thing you want to do is check the intersection and see if any lights are shooting out, if there's any miscoloration in the light illuminating from that area. If there is, that means there's a vehicle there. Then you approach with caution. Even though you have the right of way, approach with caution because North Bay drivers fucking suck. They have no problems pulling out in front of you. And in their mind, you have brakes, you can stop. Not in their mind, where the way it should be is you have the right of way, they should fucking look out. No, you got brakes. You gotta be careful in this town because people are idiots. Too many idiots, not enough cyanide. Gotta fucking drive with your head on a swivel. Jesus Murphy, was somebody else driving my car? My rearview mirror's all contorted and shit. Not sure what's going on with the camera angle there. Looks like the car's all tilted. I assure you the car is not tilted. 
the camera is. But I don't know what kind of tickets my brother got, if he got VIP or just regular seating. I watched some of that Smash Wrestling on the website, and it looks like the VIP people could probably end up wearing a wrestler before the night's over. I shit you not. Because these guys like to really, really, really like to... Fuck, I can't get in there. Son of a bitch, why can't these people hug over to the line a little bit more? Oh, right, North Bay drivers. Fuck. Smarten up, Adam. You know this. There, straighten you guys a bit. But, uh, yeah, and I'm in VIP, which means front row. So if somebody gets pitched over the ropes, chances are I'm going to get a lap dance from a dude. That's not going to be too awesome. Okay, I'm going to throw some heat on the windshield here, see if I can thaw out some of this ice. All right, fuckers. Geeter gun. Geeter done. So mom's birthday's on Friday. Probably going to have to sneak over there and give her her gift. At some point, if not Friday, I'll go over Saturday or some shit. Uh, tomorrow we gotta bring fluffy scruffy puppy wuppy to the hair salon. Get him a shave and a haircut and a bath and I think they're gonna pinch his bum glands. So that's awesome. I think they do that every time I bring him in. They give his old bum glands a squirt. That's a fucking job I wouldn't want, man. Milking of the bum glands. Blech. I know my buddy told me, actually I think it was Crazy Logie who told me, uh, give your dog a handful of shreddies, the good, good, holy shreddies, every once in a while. And it causes the, uh, the anal glands to milk on their own the next time the dog takes a shit. Remember, I th I'm pretty sure I tried that before and it actually worked and it was the most disgusting thing I ever had to inhale because the wind was blowing towards me. Holy fuck. I know you're driving a Kia, bud, but is that a Kia? Oh, that's a Ford. I apologize. Uh, we're going to be here for a while. This person has to make sure nothing is in the other lane before they can make that left-hand turn. See what I mean? Make sure there's nothing in that left-hand lane before they can make that turn. Oh, you guys can't see fuck all. I can't wait to see Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy after he gets shaved. He's always so cute for a couple weeks, then he just gets scruffified again, and then he looks all fucked. Holy shit. Oh, right. Yesterday was a holiday. I have... My bad. I want to park right where that family of three is walking. Because so that'll give me a good spot to go to the beer store. And to the grocery store and grab some noms. <clears throat> Hopefully by the time I get home my shit's done frothing. And then I can actually bottle it. But anyway, people, I'm going to grab some stuff and I'll talk to you in a bit. Alrighty. I'm back. Let's go. Fuck, that was awesome. Probably one of the most adventurous fucking outings for groceries I've had in a while. So I went and got groceries first. Restocked on eggs and bacon and all that shit for breakfast. Fucking hook car, you piece of shit. Fuck, I hate traction control. Worst part is you can't turn the fucking thing off. You do, the moment you get over 40, it turns it back on. Fucking horrible feature in cars. But, um... So I go to the grocery store first, start buying shit, and I'm at the back looking at the steaks. When I when I hear the sound of this kid running up to me, well, I heard the sound of footsteps running at me. And usually when that happens, you know, I'll listen to see if they're going around a corner. But they sound like they're coming right for me. So I spun around, and Buddy's on, like, he's bent over, and he's got his hands out. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? He kind of stops and goes, oh, you're, you're not Trevor. And I'm like... Yeah, I'm not Trevor. Sorry, man. Sorry. I'm like, what were you doing? And he's like, nothing, man. And I'm like, bullshit. What were you doing? And one of the guys was stalking the chicken, which is further down from the steak. He's like, is there a problem here? I'm like, yeah, I think this dick was going for my wallet. He's like, no, man. No, no, no. He goes, I, thought you were, I thought you were a buddy of mine. And I was going to pants you. And I'm like, fucking seriously? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, fucking. Eat. I'm like, get out of here, asshole. Sorry, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the meat dick was like, the buddy turned around, he started walking away, and the meat dick's following him. Like, was, I guess he was going to lead him out the store or something. I don't know. 
It's like, Jesus, Murphy. What kind of a fucking arsehole goes up and pants his buddy in a fucking grocery store, eh? Glad I don't have friends that are that stupid. The youth these days, they're mental. And then I go to the beer store and I grab, I, I go up to the beer store and drop off my empties and the lady's like, anything for you, uh, anything for you uh, today? You buying anything else? I'm like, uh, yeah, give me a 15 pack of the old style pills. And she's like, uh, do you have your ID on you? I'm like, are you fucking serious? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, dude, I was just here on Saturday and I bought it. Okay. All right. <laughs> One second. And it wasn't Saturday. It was actually, I was there on Thursday last week and I bought a 15 pack of pills. <sighs> okay. One second. I bust on my ID. She looks at me. She goes, oh. I'm like, yeah, I shaved my beard off. And she's like, oh, okay. Sorry about that. She goes, we got to be sure. We got to be sure. You know, it's the law. I'm like, no, no, it's cool. It's cool. Shave off your beard. Now they want your fucking ID, eh? Jesus, Murphy. Here, I thought you guys online were just saying I looked fucking 10 years younger with my beard shaving. Apparently I do. When they start asking you for your ID. Oh, that's all right. Fuck, good thing I turned around when I did. Because, man, if that kid would have pants me in food basics, I probably would be going to prison right now for fucking manslaughter. Probably would have beat the ever-loving fucking piss out of the little asshole. Been like when that girl broke into that truck that one time. Got a bat upside her head. Fuck, all I smell is rubbing alcohol. Oh my goodness. I think I have a friggin' thing of rubbing alcohol in my coat and it just spilt out from Saturday when I went to get into my car and couldn't because it was frozen over. I didn't have a lid on that bottle. Oh no. Luckily, I don't have anything valuable in my pocket except for, no, my wallet's on the other side. Fuck. Well, luckily that shit dehydrates or evaporates fast. That sucks, though. Oh, well, let's go home, make some steak, mashed potatoes, and I bought some cans of corn, so I'm going to have some corn tonight with my steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes and corn is going to be fucking yummy. Yummy. Can't even do a high pitched voice. I'm getting tired. It's because it's after 7 o'clock. And normally in two hours from now, I'm in bed. But tonight, I'm going to try and stay up a little bit later and play Grand Theft Auto with the boys. As long as they want to start at 9 and not fucking 10.30. Because if it's at 10.30, then screw it. I'm not going to play tonight. I'll uh, I'll go to bed because i got to be up early tomorrow to bring Scruffy Fluffy to uh, the pet store. Put him up for auction. I mean, get him a haircut. Oh, anyway, I'm almost home, guys. So I'll chat with you when I get there. I'm going to cook a steak. Peace. I had these on sale for $4.60. Big chunks of chicken. Those will be good some night. Got some more Cornish hens. These are always great for a meal. A dirty old piece of steak. That's going to be dinner for tonight. Some pork chops. That'll be dinner for tomorrow night. A couple cans of corn. Frig, I love corn. Some more of these on sale omega-3 eggs. And some canned bull sperm. Alrighty, got the potato water boiling here. Well, it's starting to boil. Got the, well, air fryer's making the steak. And the corn's in the microwave. And the cat is running around like a crazy person. Alrighty, and just like that, dinner is done. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut the vlog down here. I'm going to edit this all up, get it up to YouTube. So like I said, tonight the boys might want to play some Grand Theft Auto. And uh, I kind of want to join in on that. So get this here all edited up, up to the YouTubes and ready to rock. So yeah, thanks for coming out and watching the video. I also want to mention today we hit 11,000 subscribers. Fucking awesome. Couldn't have done it without you guys, obviously, without you guys subscribing and watching and all that. So that is awesome. Greatly appreciate it big times. And uh, let's keep pushing on. Let's keep pushing on. So on that note, people, I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Also down below are the links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, people, until next time, keep on vlogging.